Here's a question for you guys. Why do we praise things? Why do we like to praise things? And why do we get so down when there's no one around us that we can talk to to praise our favorite fandoms and things we're nerd out about? We're going to talk about that today as well as why does God want us to praise Him? So let's jump right into it. So everyone has things that they love to talk about. But there is no group of people that love to praise things than nerds or geeks, whichever one you prefer. We love our fandoms. We love talking about the things that we nerd out about. I can talk to you guys for hours about Doctor Who, Batman, Super Smash Brothers, Kingdom Hearts, uh, and a couple of other things. But sometimes there's a downside to this. And that downside is when we aren't able to express these great things to anyone. Although it is a lot easier now with the internet and everything, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are still pretty much in the same boat when it comes to their favorite nerd things. And we will all tell you, it is terrible when we aren't able to express how great these shows are to other people. Or nobody know plays the game that you just beat. And so you can't talk to you about how the entire journey was amazing, how great the music was, how great the graphics were. Like we love this thing, but it's still saddening that we can't express that love. But have you ever thought about why we love to do this? Why we love to talk about our favorite fandoms and praise everything that we love about these things? It's almost as if there's something built into us that makes us want to praise the things that we love. Now the reason why I bring this up is because one of the most popular questions that Christians get asked is why does God need us to praise him? Why does he need to praise and worship him? Now right off the bat, there's something wrong with that question. You see, in one of my previous videos, I actually went over something called a seity, which is an attribute that God has. And a seity means that God is self-existent and independent of anything, and he doesn't need anything external to him to be complete. So to say or ask, why does God need something? It doesn't make any sense because no Christian believes that God needs anything. He's complete and fulfilled just by being God. But that still doesn't really answer the question of, well, why does he want us to praise him? Now I want to present to you guys a possible reason why. What if I told you guys that us praising God isn't for him, but for us? Let me explain what I mean by that. See, first and foremost, the reason why God commands us to praise him is because he is worthy of that praise. He is God and he knows it. He doesn't need a self-esteem boost like us humans do. Now that's the first and most important reason. But the second reason is that it's for us. You see, when you think back to all the things that you love to praise about your favorite fandom, the favorite thing that you love to nerd out about, you recognize that there's that sense of enjoyment when you're able to praise something. And I want to say that it's the exact same thing with God. God commanding us to praise Him isn't because He needs it, but it's because it helps us develop a more fulfilled and complete relationship with Him. The great C.S. Lewis, the guy who wrote the Chronicles of Narnia series and good friend of the author of the Lord of the Rings series, says this, I think we delight to praise what we enjoy because the praise not merely expresses but completes the enjoyment. It is its appointed consummation. It is not out of compliment that lovers keep on telling one another how beautiful they are. The delight is incomplete till it is expressed. It is frustrating to have discovered a new author and not be able to tell anyone about how good he is. To come suddenly at the turn of the road upon some mountain valley of unexpected grandeur and then to have to keep silent because the people with you care for it no more than for a tin can in the ditch. To hear a good joke and find no one to share it with. The Scotch Catechism says that man's chief end is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. But we shall then know that these are the same thing. Fully to enjoy is to glorify. In commanding us to glorify Him, God is inviting us to enjoy Him. Now I really like what C.S. Lewis said about lovers wanting to tell each other how beautiful they find each other and how that thought is incomplete until it is expressed. And I think that is exactly the way it is with God and the things that we love and enjoy. And just like how when we don't have someone to talk to or someone to express our praise for the things we love about a certain show or game, it brings us down a bit. Like we yearn 
for that person that we can talk to about this thing. And it's the same thing with God. Like if we weren't able to praise God, we would have such a yearning that we wouldn't feel complete in our relationship with God. Now obviously throughout this video I've been talking about nerd stuff, but this doesn't just apply to nerds. Everyone has things that they love to praise. Dif different TV shows and, and books and things like that. So it, it's not confined to nerds, but I'm a nerd so I'm using nerdy things to talk about. So our desire of how great things are isn't complete until we're able to express it. And in that expressing, we are being fulfilled. That, that enjoyment is being fulfilled. I believe that is why God commands us to praise Him. Because, like I said, He is worthy of it. And our expression, our, no, our experience and knowledge of how great God is, isn't complete until we express it. Our enjoyment of it, of God, isn't complete until we express how great our God is. So the next time that someone asks you, why does God need us to praise Him? Now you'll know what to say. God doesn't need our praise. And you can respond back with the question, how would you feel if you couldn't praise the things that you love? Well guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about it and what fandoms do you love to praise? Also, if you love video games, you can catch me over on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 p.m. So until the next time, stay nerdy. Yes! <laughs> Did it! Awesome!